What's up guys, welcome to Gateway 10. In this video, we're going to discuss the top 10 science fiction movies of the last decade, from 2010 up to 2019. Directed by Doug Lehman, Edge of Tomorrow is an epic sci-fi action film about aliens, time travel and war. Based on the Japanese novel All You Need Is Kill by Hiroshi Sakurazaka, Edge of Tomorrow follows the story of Major William Cage, played by Tom Cruise, who is sent to combat the invading aliens and is killed in battle. He then finds himself in a time loop that sends him back to the day preceding the battle every time he dies. It is not only a great action war movie, but also a great sci-fi story involving a very suspenseful time travel plot with high stakes. At number 9 we have Prometheus, directed by Ridley Scott. This is a prequel to the first Alien film in 1979. The story follows a group of scientists and explorers who embark on an expedition to a distant moon, where they discover evidence of alien life as well as clues about the origin of life on Earth. Even though this is not a perfect film, it showcases some very interesting science fiction concepts about the origin of mankind and artificial intelligence. Ridley Scott expanded on the alien universe and introduced fascinating ideas which we hope will be explored more in the future. Upstream Color is the second feature film from writer-director Shane Carruth, and like his debut, Primer, it is just as intriguing and mind-bending. It follows the story of a man and a woman whose lives are affected by a complex parasite that has a three-stage life cycle. The movie is purposely edited to create disorientation in the viewer, which can resemble the feelings the main characters are going through. Although this is a movie that might require multiple viewings to fully grasp what is happening, we believe it presents a very interesting, original and thought-provoking story. Loosely based on the 2000 novel by Michel Faber, Under the Skin is a captivating and otherworldly story about a mysterious woman, played by Scarlett Johansson, who preys on men in Scotland. It is pretty bleak and at times experimental, but the excellent cinematography and score make this a truly one-of-a-kind experience. Ex Machina is the debut feature film from writer-director Alex Garland. It's about a programmer who was invited by his CEO to administer the Turing test to an intelligent humanoid robot. It's a suspenseful sci-fi thriller with top-notch performances from the entire cast, beautiful cinematography and a great electronic score. Inception is probably one of the most influential sci-fi films of the last few years. Written and directed by Christopher Nolan, it follows the story of a professional thief, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, who steals the information by infiltrating the subconscious of his targets. From thrilling action set pieces to intriguing concepts about dreams and time, this is one of the best big-budget original movies that have been produced. Not to mention the famous score by Hans Zimmer, which adds multiple layers to the quality of the film. Annihilation is the second feature film from Alex Garland. It is based on the novel of the same name by Jeff Vandermeer and follows the story of a group of scientists who enter the Shimmer, a mysterious quarantine zone in which resides an alien presence that causes the surrounding plants and animals to mutate. Alex Garland tackles some very compelling ideas about identity and self-destruction while also adding some doses of cosmic horror. The film has some great visuals and a thought-provoking story, accompanied by a fantastic score by Ben Salisbury and Geoff Barrow. Denis Villeneuve has proved that he is one of the most talented directors working today, and Arrival is an excellent addition to his amazing filmography. The film follows a linguist played by Amy Adams, enlisted by the United States Army to discover how to communicate with aliens who have arrived on Earth. While dealing with otherworldly phenomena, this film manages to deliver an extremely emotional story, in addition to tackling scientific concepts exceptionally well. The score by the late Johan Johansson is probably one of the best in his career. With Blade Runner 2049, Denis Villeneuve managed to deliver a sequel that is arguably even better than the 1982 beloved classic. The film is set 30 years after the first one, following the story of Kay, played by Ryan Gosling, who is a Nexus 9 replicant Blade Runner. He uncovers a secret that threatens to destabilize society. 
Blade Runner 2049 has stunning visuals and phenomenal sound design and score. With the masterful cinematography by Roger Deakins, the film invites the viewer to a dystopian world filled with grittiness, holograms and loneliness. Interstellar is Christopher Nolan's most ambitious project to date. This sci-fi epic follows a group of astronauts who travel through a wormhole near Saturn in search of a new home for humanity because life on Earth will soon be a thing of the past. The film features advanced scientific concepts of relativity and time dilation. Scientifically, it is extremely accurate thanks to the contributions of theoretical physicist Kip Thorne. This film deserves all the praise it got for its screenplay, direction, themes, visual effects, musical score, acting and ambition. The fact that the visual effects provided Thorne with new insight into black holes, resulting in the publication of three scientific papers, makes this film even more important in our opinion. We hope you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a comment down below with your picks for the best sci-fi movies. If you can, like the video and subscribe, and remember, stay epic.